Hey guys, welcome back for day six of my series, I Love Makeup. My name's Maddie, and every day in January, I will be diving into a different eyeshadow palette, trying it on my eyes, and just having fun with makeup. So today's palette is going to be the Glam Light X Michaela palette. So I remember getting this in the mail when I ordered it from Glam Light, and I heard the package like this, and I was like, oh, everything's shattered, it's all broken. And then I forgot that literally, the palette is like a little snow globe, <laughs> so um, it's got little shimmers in it that move around. So I'll give you a peek at the inside. I already know what I'm doing on my eyes today. I thought this one out. So here's what we're working with. Beautiful colors, lots of shimmers, lots of bright mattes, and you do have some neutrals up top, which is nice. It's not a completely colorful palette, so <laughs> even though I'm going to be using some color today, so today I'm really wanting to go for like a pinky purpley Barbie look. Um, so I'm going to go in with the color Simping, which is like a really pretty metallic pink like that. I have a swatch of something else on my finger. Sorry about that. Um, and I want to do the pink on the inner corner and blend out to kind of like a purpley on the outside. So let's see what we can do. Oh, I love... I love the formula of these shimmers. I mean, just look at how easy that is to put on. It's ridiculous. So I'm really just going about halfway from the inner corner to like the middle of my eyelid. <clears throat> and these really do well by using a finger and pressing them on. I have not really played much with them with a brush. I haven't played much with them at all. But um, I just find that a really intense shimmer like these that's going to give you like a foiled look, it's going to do better if you just use your finger. And you guys know that's kind of my preferred method anyway. If you're learning anything from this series, it's that I really use my fingers a lot for my eyeshadow. That would be a cool look just leaving it like that and like blending it out, but I'm going to add some more of course I don't see a lot of other people on YouTube doing that I don't know maybe it's not good for you but oh, I'm going in with the color immaculate oh my gosh that's so pretty oh my gosh oh that is just the blend between those two is insane Tell me that's not like a Barbie. I'm gonna do the same on the other eye. Two shadows and it looks like we spent a lot more time on this than we did. I also find that using my finger, I'm just able, maybe it's because I'm an artist and I, <clears throat> I remember being in school and using my fingers a lot to blend like charcoal drawings and stuff or even pencil drawings. Um, but I just find that I can get more precision and more of what, the look I'm wanting if I just use my fingers. So, I don't know. Maybe I just like finger painting a lot, too. Oh my gosh, look. Look at that shimmer. Is that just, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. This is where the eyes stand right now. Absolutely what I wanted. <laughs> so, I think I'm going to stop there. I'm going to use the magic of editing of course, and get myself back up to speed with the rest of my face, and I'll walk you through what I do on the rest of the face to give us our little Barbie look. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm popping in here before I am done with my face just to show you a combination that's kind of blowing my mind right now. <laughs> like, so I went to Dollar Tree this morning and I ended up picking up a few beauty products. First one being the Be Pure Essentially Ageless Blurring Primer. Tried this one on, definitely a blurring like texture wise primer. Then I'm wearing what I thought was a foundation, but it's actually a concealer. Um, <laughs> it is the Be Pure Hydrating Under Eye Concealer. I'm wearing it in the shade Fair, but I have that all over my skin as a foundation. And then this Candy Moyo Multi-Use <laughs> Concealer. I don't know how long that's gonna last because it doesn't look like there's that much in there, but um, this is like one of those little twist up concealers. 
look before powder look how like glowy and perfected i look i'm loving it so i just wanted to give you a little look at that uh trio here before i add the rest to my face so now i'll be right back here is our finished look our barbie inspired look um, i'm really happy with how it turned out the michaela palette you just can't go wrong with now i have not tried her second part to this palette that's more like green and blue tone i believe but this one is just beautiful and i don't know why i keep doing palette like recreation on my eyes <laughs> like i go for the color that's on the front of the palette but anyway i think it turned out so cool and don't be afraid to use all shimmer on your eyes um i know a lot of people are like oh you can only use matte in the crease and matte on your brow bone and shimmer on the lid and it's like there are no rules it really doesn't matter you can do whatever you want um but super happy with this palette and how everything turned out i just added like a little bit of a neutral liner and this stunning nyx gloss that i really had never considered using before it's called meringue and it's a butter gloss but i think mixed with more of a neutral lip liner it really does look pretty now if i had done it on its own it might have been a little too like light pink for me but I really like how everything turned out. And I hope you guys enjoyed day number six. So I will see you tomorrow to wrap up our first week of I Love Makeup. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. And I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.